channel. This is going to be a process video for getting into shape where this week we are going to be focusing on hexagons. It is a new tube collaboration series where we um, come together and we use different shapes on Sundays and the sketch that I am going to be using is part of my shop of sketches the books of sketches and all of that will be linked down below so I am going to be using the scrap rooms um, collection that came in January and the kit is going to be called um, simple stories winter wonders and it is part of the um, scrap rooms so I had to dig into my stash because I forgot to bring my big um, hexagon sketch and I found this Vicky Booten sketch that has hexagons so I am playing with some crack like nouveau cracked paste of some sort that my friend Fran had while we were at this crop and that's why my um, area looks a tad bit different and then I came in, they're both Vicky Booten um, stencils, and then this is like the winter stencil. I came in with some other, I don't know, some new nouveau creamy paste or something or another to like give this background some pizzazz. Now the sketch that I am using is part of my bundle number one. It's in volume number one, so if you have it already, go look for volume number one. And you will be able to see which sketch I'm using. I have done this sketch now four different times now. I think this is my fourth layout. And that is why I love using sketches because they change all the time. I think this is the first time I've used um, mixed media in my sketches. So the sketch calls for three different types of pattern papers and they're cut kind of wonky donkey. So that's what I'm working on here is just trying to cut this up, trying to keep these straight because I do have this full collection and that is what I'm working on here just to get it so that they're working just right. And then you'll see me, I'm cutting down the layout or the papers so that they can fit within this pattern. Now I, I know I am covering up my mixed media, but it works out well to where you're still seeing the hexagons and ultimately at the end it is where I wanted it as part of the background, but my focal point is my photo and the memories behind the photo. The photo is the same retreat that I'm at now in the photo or in the video, but it's last year's photos. So. My title is going to be called Memory from Colorcast Designs. It is part of her new collection and I'll link that down below. So I am using the Scrap Rooms kit, the Memory from Colorcast Designs, my sketch from um, Volume 1, and I will be coming in with Spiegel Mom Scraps and it's called Snow Pretty. And I will link all that down below. We are all small businesses and I absolutely love um, promoting small businesses. So make sure that you go check out everybody that's linked down below along with everybody that is following along with this series. It is fantastically fantastic. I love this series. It's amazing. And let's see if we're going to keep this going into January. I know that she... Um, Shannon is the one that put it on. I know that she did January, but I haven't seen any updates for February. So let's see what happens. I'm hoping that um, she keeps this going because I think it's amazing. So here I am. I really, really had to put some glue down because that cracked paste drove me nuts. It would not keep my papers or anything sticky. I think that's kind of... A little bit of the reason why I mean I love Nouveau but it's a pain to keep stuff down I'm just saying not my favorite choice so memory and then I thought uh, memory and then I thought stay cozy would be perfect for this and then oh so cold um 
Excuse my voice. Again, I'm still trying to get over this cold. Like, it, it's been kicking my butt. So I am sorry. But I wanted to be able to get these voiceovers and explain everything. And all of that. Because I have the videos, obviously. And I've had the layout done, obviously. It's just this voiceover... So I decided to play off of, now I do have this full collection, but I was like, nope, I like to be able to use just what the scrap room gives me and then just add whatever I don't use into my kit that I do have. And this is one of them that I did pick up. Like it's the whole collection. I have it all. I love this collection. It is one of my favorite collections for winter that has come out. And I know the... I know Georgia does not get snow, but when I was at this retreat, when I was videoing it, not the photo, not last year's, but this year's retreat, we actually ended up having a full day of snow. So I've got photos of the pro progression of snow. The first set is when it just first started coming down and then it actually stuck and it stayed for a hot while and it stayed all the way until we left. Now, it was supposed to start warming up when we left, and so it probably melted afterwards. But, you know, that part, it is what it is. So I've got some snow actually on the ground. Now, this is where I love to do with sequins, and if you've never done it, you've got to try it. It's where you just sprinkle a little on and drop it, and you glue it wherever it lands. And so that collection that I'm using is snow pretty and it's part of the newer collection you'll absolutely love it i love 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 this collection i will link everything down below go check out everybody like i said the small group or the small businesses is my business my scrappy life my volumes um the scrap room spiegel mom scraps go check out all of them they're absolutely amazing everything will be down make sure you do all your youtube um, stuff like and subscribe go check out the collaboration all of that the still shots are coming up i hope that you guys are all staying safe enjoy your day and i will talk to you soon bye to explain my wandering ways always turning away from your loving embrace I find it hard to explain my wandering ways my wandering ways